We would be honored if you would join us. <coughs> A fine addition to my collection. <coughs> Hey Star Wars collectors, just want to share with you a couple of recent fine additions to my collection. Yeah, decided, uh, oh, just a couple of eBay wins really. Um, nothing, nothing too major, but I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm going to do some unboxing. Um, yeah, obviously the first is the uh, Vader's Meditation Chamber. Got this for a really good steal on eBay. It comes with the Vader. Comes with the, uh, the cup that came over it. This is the... I think it was the 300th, or I can't remember what it was, 300th figure or something. Anyway, <laughs> I, that wasn't part of it. I just didn't care about that. I just wanted this, um, mainly this part for, you know, my Empire Strikes Back shelf. It's just, it was missing that little, little something. Um, and my next little uh, venture is to try and find the Palpatine hologram. Um so I can have Vader sort of knelt down in front of that as well. I think that'll look really, really cool on display um, with my Empire Strikes Back sort of shelf. So I'm going to give that a go. And uh, yeah, with the lid, obviously it came in this as almost as a lid. Um, I am going to give a shot at cutting out the top. The top here. I will apologise if you can hear some thunder and rain. Um, it's a nice stormy evening here in Adelaide. Um, but yeah, I want to try and cut this out and get the Dremel just so it's a separate piece. I'll probably spray paint the top black and then find a way to attach it to the top of the um, thing there just so it looks like it's a part of it because you know you can just get this down and sit it on top, which you know would look cool back when this was sort of a nice clear plastic <laughs> back when it was new. You can sort of put the helmet up and down on him. But uh, yeah, obviously that's gotten a little bit worse for wear over the years. And I just thought, you know what, if I can get that to just sort of sit over the top, I think it might, might come out looking all right. So I'm going to have a little play around, see what I can do. And you know, if that part doesn't really come to fruition with the top, that's okay, because I've got this and that works just fine for me. Uh, yeah, the Vader. He's got a extra hand. I'm pretty sure this is the Vader it come with, come came with it. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna pull this apart and uh, clean it up a little bit. It's just it's been in someone's collection. It's a little bit dusty. Uh, the Vader. He will have the cape removed because he doesn't wear the cape in that scene. And yeah, this is the old one with the swivel elbows. A change of hands too. That one's more of his lightsaber gripping hand. The seller did send the lightsaber. It was broken, um, but you know what? I've got enough spares. So I like the fact that you can just have Vader sort of just sitting there on his space toilet. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Once I'm done here, I'm gonna go and give that a bit of a clean up. There's some, some screws underneath to sort of separate the parts. So I can give it a nice little wash. 2005. Revenge of the Sith era. So let me get that out of the way. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the land speeder. Now, <clears throat> when I decided to uh, get a land speeder, like I said, I recently just updated all my shelving. I added this whole unit here on this side. So that it spread everything out a little bit, give it a little bit more space to breathe. I was able to incorporate all my Clone Wars figures in there as well. And uh, I decided it's time for a land speeder. Um, and this is actually my first ever three and three quarter inch land speeder. I do have the six inch one, but that's as far as I've ever gotten. Um, so I went hunting, looking for the, the TVC version, uh, which came out in 2011, 2010. Uh, yeah, that thing's way too expensive now. Um, and I didn't really want to go the Power of the Force one. I remember I never had that one as a kid, but I had a buddy who did. And, uh, you know, had the thing, had a button on the front, which, you know, when you crash into something, the hood busts open. 
And yeah, I just didn't really want that aesthetic. That'll be one to get with my Power of the Force collection at some point. But um, yeah, I just wanted something a little bit simpler. But I didn't want to pay the prices for the TVC one. So I did my research and uh, yeah, the, the Saga collection. 2003. I'll just take a look over the packaging there. See, so, yeah, this is a... Tomy import. I think if I'm not incorrect, that could be I'm not sure if anyone knows. But uh yeah, we're gonna bust this one open anyway. And what else is on the bottom? Oh, there's a bit on the bottom there. So it has some of the same features, um, you know, the pop-up wheels as the Power of the Force one. I think it's just a slight retool. I couldn't find too much information on this one, but um, that doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna bust it open, and uh, yeah, Luke's probably not gonna hang around too long because uh, yeah, he looks a little bit dated and yellowed, and he doesn't look too doesn't look too happy in there. He's been stuck in this box for twenty odd years. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, let me just sort of see him there. He's yeah, he's he's quite yellowed. Yeah, the things are those the plastic on the on the tunic. He's he's had a rough time, old Luke. Tape, all the plastic tabs. Get this thing out. So there we go. And uh, yeah, look. And that plastic was so brittle, it just all fell apart. So that's fine. You can see a bit of a bit of plastic all sort of gunked up in there. Oh, I do have this figure as well. Anyway, I don't know whether he's got the arm articulation. I don't think so. In two seconds, I'm going to go get it and see if I can compare it. So basically, to confirm, he is the same as the Power of the Jedi. Luke. Sort of deleted scene because he's got the little floppy hat. But yeah, that's pretty much the same figure, so you can just sort of see how much this one has sort of become sort of dirty and weathered. The, just the plastic has aged in the packaging, whether it's been kept in sunlight, who knows, who, no, who knows. But that's right, this one will make a good stand-in for the time being. This one does come with the rifle, it looks to be pretty similar to the one attached here yes it is exactly the same there we go so that's cool let me get this knife out of the way we don't need that anymore let's focus back on this bad boy so yeah, this, this isn't looking too bad at all. So it's 2002, so it's a new a new mold for the year, 2002-2003. But I think, yeah, this sort of feature here with the, the wheels, with the gear stick in the middle there, so you can pop those wheels up and you can flick it forward. Very much the same. Probably the weathering, the detail, probably not really holding up to the standards of, of today, obviously. You know, it's 20 odd years. But it's not too bad. It doesn't look like anything sort of pops off. There's no sort of hidden 
hidden parts to it. Everything's sort of reasonably static, which is fine with me. I don't need any extra play features on this thing because I just simply want to pop Luke in there. And a little bit of an, a little elastic band that's sort of stuck its way on there out of the packaging. I'll give that a bit of a clean up afterwards, so that's all right. You know, I even did a little bit of like damage and scuffing on the bottom here. It's kind of cool. But yeah, until Hasbro decides to, you know, re-release the TVC one, give us a new one, who knows? This will be a really good little placeholder in the collection. I've got a spot just right there. So he's going to go, go over there. And he's still sort of rolling around. Yeah, those wheels are on sort of spring, so you can... Yeah, doing some low rider stuff. There we go, that came off a little bit more there. We got a little just need to brush off with a little toothbrush perhaps. Flick that little bit out with the knife. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, that'll be fine. No problems there at all. Look at the engine there. That looks kind of cool. And there's exposed wiring. It's such an iconic, iconic vehicle, part of the Star Wars universe. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the opportunity to get a sort of a nicer updated one but this one like I said this one will do nicely so let's see if we can get Luke in there it's a nice snug fit I'll, I'll play with it a little bit more get him in there with a new TVC loop coming out this year. Hopefully one that will sit in there a bit nicer. Oh, this one's too bad, but it's not it's not the greatest loop, let's be honest. We're definitely due. Alright, I'm just gonna pause and we're gonna go to handheld. All right, just come off the tripod. Let's go over here. Try not to bump my accessory boxes. So I think we're just gonna drop this one in here for the moment. I think that'll look good. And here's a Luke. I want to sort of customize a little bit and put put the X-wing pilot head on there. It's probably the nicest nicest version of Luke you can get. It did come with. Um, I'm gonna reach down and grab the. OG head, which wasn't too bad, but um, yeah, a little bit of blue tack was able to get that X wing, X wing Luke head on there, as old Ben Kenobi. But yeah, there's another Luke, the Poncho, Biggs, Kami Fixer, we got the Land Speeder in there. I don't know. Might feel a little bit too uh, too full there, so I might end up just putting it down at the front at the cantina there. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of like the look of it. Maybe I'll move the Jew back and the Sand Troopers down to the cantina. But always time to play with toys. Oh no, just a gonk. Fell over. Okay. There's always figures falling over. Look at these guys. It's dominoes. 
All right, thanks for watching, folks. Well, I do appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Love to hear your thoughts. And uh, yeah, we'll see you very soon for some more videos. Until then, may the force be with you always.